out of sideways, Connor. Here we go. Let's go. And they're off. The 51, does he get it? Will he get credited with a whole shot? Yes. He does. Oh, Mark Finesse. Mark has something to say about that first place finish hey, by Evan look, Ferry. Look where he's from, Indiana. There you go. That must mean. Finesse with a 19th in the first moto. Holy cow, that's no good. Oh, we got somebody down, the number 13. The number 13, where is he from? <laughs> We're going to say that about everybody. That's Toby Cl Cleveland out of New York. Are you happy? All right, so as they run, it looks like Mark Finesse, Ivan Aldama, Revan Gordon, Colin Allen, and then Evan Ferry's in fifth. So all the players there, Logan Best, he got second in the first photo. He is back there in the number eight spot. That has all since changed already. Evan Ferry going to try to jump up in there and run down Colin Allen. But we'll see how they all are stacked up. Those are the results as they cross our whole shot line. Here we go. Yamaha rider out front. It might be Colin Allen. If that's the 35 out front, I believe it might very well be. Look at that, the EBR Yamaha ride. How about it? Cookie Monster, Colin Allen out front. The 51 of Mark Finesse gets pushed back to the number two spot. Evan Ferry, where is he at there? I'll take a look right outside the window. One rider missing a number plate already. That's the 71. Ferry back in the number four spot on the 75. Husqvarna and Colin Allen, Mark Finesse going at it right in front of us, side by side, Connor. And it looks like it gets him back. Yes, he does. Mark Finnis will grab that number one spot. It says, not so fast. Colin Allen going to go right back to work. Trains at Underground MX most of the year out in Texas. Might have been over at south of the border of Club MX now for the last few weeks. The 51 Finesse almost going down a little like in that mechanics area. Man is going to run those breaker bumps down in front of the mechanics area. So here is the official rundown. It's Blake Gardner in 10th, Slave Roll in 9th, Revan Gordon 8th, Trevor Collip 7th, Noah Smurden 6th. Here's your top five. It's Ryder Thompson, Evan Ferry, Evan Al Ivan Aldama, Colin Allen, Mark Finesse. And they go into the Ten Commandments. And look at that. Finesse starting to set sail. Megawatt enjoying some of that delicious watermelon. So good. Ed Perry brought that up. Allen, though. And looks like Ferry has rolled up into the game. Ferry is catching Ivan Aldama. Yeah, must have. It'll propel you to a championship. The 51, there is Finesse. There is Colin Allen. And Aldama is now under the attack of the 75 of Evan Ferry. Wow, you see him scrub that jump. Yeah, and tripled right there. He was talking about it. He, was, he came up here to show me that video. Hey, you checked me out on that triple. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I was calling the race, but that's cool that you got it on, on lockdown there on your phone. All right, Colin Allen, you better get moving. Here comes Evan Ferry. What is the deal with number plates falling off motorcycles? Colin's number plate looks a little crooked as well. Way around the outside. Evan Ferry not messing around with that inside rut. Yeah, it looks like some of the outsides out here actually quite a bit quicker than the inside. It looks like a little smoother for them. All right, we're t tagging along with number 75, Evan Ferry, out of Florida. Going to ride this inside line, set that 125 in there nice and tight. So I mean, Ferry was your first moto winner. Colin Allen was in the mix there as well. The 35, Allen finished up inside the top 10. So this is a great ride. He looks over to his right. And he sees Evan Ferry. He literally looked uh -oh. him in the eyes. Oh, and he holds him off. Takes he him went all the way away. across. He did. You're right about that. Ferry, Ferry going the long way around, right? Working those outsides all around the track. And that'll do it. Evan Ferry now moves into the number two spot. He's still trying to fight off Colin Allen, but Mark Finesse has already entered the Ten Commandments. All right, we continue to tag along with Evan Ferry. Check him out. He's just kind of backing it into that left-hander like a dirt track racer. And steering with that back end. That is definitely a technique for sure. There's Ferry. You just saw Finesse 
go out of the screen. He's, he's taking notes from uh, Ryan Villapoto or other. This is what the race looks there. like through Rodney's old eyes there, kind of black and, black and white footage there. <laughs> Rodney sees in black and white. It's never changed. He never transitioned over to the color movement. He's going to fight it all the way to the end. There's no death. He is, no, he is actually, he's just death. He's most death. There's another look through, through the Rodney Tomlin prism, what it looks like to watch a race. This is a Pruder film style. And Allen still fighting off Aldama. Colin Allen trying to fight off Ivan Aldama. Looking at the lap times here, it looks like our leader, Phineas and Ferrier, are the only ones breaking the two minute mark. All right, so there is Ferry up and over, right past us here in the announcer's tower. Well, somebody really happy about that on the on the ground level there of that jump. Ferry's got some work to do, though. He's got three seconds to try to make up on Mark Finesse, and he is going right at Mark. Looks like he did gain a little bit that last lap, but... So we're looking at Crockett Myers as well. First call for Crockett. He has just not gotten off the gate. He's in the number seven spot. Logan Best just now inside the top 10. Revan Gordon just outside of the top 10. So some movement now coming up as some of our faster riders work their way into the top 10. Look at that. Ferry using that long outside. That was quick. Check the line choices out for Evan Ferry. I guarantee you that was a conversation he and his dad had. That was pretty quick. Stay out of trouble. You don't get caught up in a rut. So we'll see if he's able to chop into that lead that Mark Finesse had. He should because he turned to 157. Finesse with that 159. He can see him right now, and he's in the air. He can look up and see the white helmet, the KTM ride of Mark Finesse on that 51 machine. Can't quite make it past the oversized dome sitting in front of me. Mark Burkeen's head just blocking <laughs> all the views we can see here. From the tower. He's got to get in front of the uh, rules here. You can see. They don't even make those. I, he just cuts the snapbacks off. Is now that a fit? Get that thing out of here. Big old head. Plenty of room for a brain. Square. He's actually got a square head. You ever How seen with a helmet? Possible? They actually have to have a square, square helmet. helmet. Never yeah. seen it. Looks like a uh, Roblox yep. or uh, a Lego or, guy. What's the, what's the video game where it's all looks like Nintendo style, where it's all square Minecraft. pixelated? Minecraft. He is a literal Minecraft he's, yes, character. He's actually you shaped broke the like rules Minecraft. Uh, jumping on yellow like flags. For AMA, he's actually square shaped. He's like 8 bit. 3 DPI there. All right, so Evan Ferry. Now he goes back with a yo yo with a two minute lap time. Four seconds slower than his previous lap. So Evan Ferry's got to get it together. He's five seconds behind Finesse. Wow. Finesse, though. Not really in the hunt. He turned a 19th finish in that wow. first moto. So Evan Ferry with two or one, two moto scores. That's where he wants to be. You can go ahead and win this race. I'll win the battle. About that little line from Fanice down there, skipping or, or hopping through those final three jumps of the Ten Commandments. This is what we expected. The 19th in the first moto, that was a problem. It's not because of the speed. I kind of felt coming into this at this 125 division, You'd have Logan Best, he's quick, Colin Allen's quick. But I was really wanting to see Ferry versus Finesse. And uh, we've got it in some of the motos, but this is our best shot at it right now. Yeah, and uh, it looks like Finesse has answered the call. In this moto, anyway. He definitely has. Two seconds a lap faster, that last lap around. Around that big monster mile there, the big sweeper. Just nowhere to relax on this racetrack. It is tough and grueling. There's Fair. He's comfortable in the sand. He wishes the whole thing was sand. He was born, literally, they, he was born on the finish line jump at Dade City. <laughs> Delivered him right there, rolled him around in the sand. Yep, that's exactly right. It was a home delivery <laughs> at the Ferry racetrack, <laughs> the back of their property. Yep. They normally do it in a big tub or whatever they bring it in. They just yep. pile up the water truck. Dirt. Water truck. They had the water truck. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Hosed him off. Put a flag in his hand. Said, "Go to work." They go. Born to race. <laughs> just like a deer, they come out. They can walk within six hours. They had him on a Strider bike. They had him on a Stasic. 
Had him ready to go within just hours. Timmy had a plan. He did have a plan. Shaky little legs there as he started pushing. <laughs> <laughs> For nice, nice little story building up here out of Indiana, getting quicker every single year, and then really was quick a year ago. It set him up to be one of the fast runners this year, and he's getting it done right now, looking for the gold medal. Hard to believe, though. I'm going to say, yeah, I, I'm like, there's got to be less than 10 minutes left of this moto. I think that clock's frozen on screen, and there's less time than this. I feel like they've been keep out there racing. for a while. What if we just went Sorry, by that? Guys. You just got to keep yep. going. Let's keep on going. So they're going way outside on their 125s. Finesse was doing it. Ferry does that as well. Lap four again. It's going to be a 20 plus 20. Wow. 20 minutes plus 20 laps. Whoa. All right, a rundown of our top 10 is Varallo in 10th, Gardner 9th, Best 8th, Shelley 7th, Myers 6th, Collett 5th, Aldima 4th, Allen 3rd, Barry in 2nd, and Phineas in 1st. There is the number six of Crockett Myers. He is in the number six spot. There he is. Got the big number six, finished sixth last year in this class. We got Best running eighth right now. Uh, he got a second last moto maybe. Let's see if he can get a couple more before the end of this one. Race against the clock for Best. Woo, touching down there, Crockett Myers. There's no easy way to land on that big roller jump there in the middle of the racetrack. Well, that's just a launch, especially on these 125s. They're just sending it right into the sand. Less about all these bikes have to get over that thing. And we continue to watch the number six of Crockett Myers trying to reel in the 74 of Trevor Collip. Just behind Crockett sits Bryce Shelley and J.J. Willoughby back in seventh and eighth. There is the 74 of Trevor Collip. They make their way down the straightaway. That leads you into the 10 commandments, the right-hander. Rocket Myers cross ruts there and it makes it work. He is going after Collip. Myers with a 202 that time around. Two minute flat for both Finez and Ferry. The two up front matching each other's lap times. Evan Ferry comes just past this. The leader has already cleared the announcer's tower, heads over to the billboards. Seven seconds. That's how much Mark Finesse has put between himself and Evan Ferry. 201 lap time for Mark. And Evan turns to 203, a 204 for Colin Allen. Ivan Aldama, a 205, a 202 for Trevor Collum. So the five minute mark, we're just at five minutes. There is Collip. He's got Ivan Aldama right in front of him. We've got a race brewing for the number four spot. 
There is Aldama on the 71. There is the 74 of Collip, the 6 of Crockett. Myers triples. Triples and a double. Rodney had a double last night himself. So this is moto number two, your first moto winner. It's Evan Ferry. He sits in the number two spot. He's in a good spot in terms of this championship. And it looks like something happened at best, too. He dropped oh. back to 19th, so it's going to give Ferry a little bit of cushion for the championship. That is a lot of help for him because the 19th place finish in the first moto for our leader currently, Mark Finesse, puts him a bit out of the championship. Logan Best, who finished top three, Second, he is 19th or outside the top 10 for sure. So things are looking a little bit easier. So basically, you just got to finish the moto, finish top five, and if you're Evan Ferry, you got to cover. But I think he wants to go out with a moto win, I would imagine. Oh, I don't blame him. Right, closing stages this is the part of the race is where you have to dig so deep if you've got a battle in front of you or if you've got someone coming Croc and Myers throwing everything he has at this Trying to keep up with the number six. Take some rapid fire camera work to stay up with Crockett Myers. He's got Collip right there in front of him, just unable to cut that gap any further. He's got him in his sights, but the gap's staying about the same. You got a fourth the first moto. I'm sure he's trying to get up there on the podium, but Collip might have him covered in this one. Yeah, it looks like it. Somebody off the racetrack creating a little bit of dust there. Ehab is back in the building. So the 74, the 6. We've been watching this battle, waiting for it to materialize. He have just constantly riding the faders over there. It looks like this championship might be coming down to Ferry and Aldama. Ferry definitely with a little bit of the cushion going in the final moto. If he can hold on for the rest of this one. All right, we should have the two-lap board out here at any minute. I will go check. It looks like the two-lap board is not out yet, so looking like probably three more laps in this. So the white flag is out. Oh, yeah. Rookie mistake there. White flag is out. Final lap. So, yep. So closing stages here. Nine laps into the schoolboy one, 12 to 17. So all these riders on 125cc machines between the ages of 12 and 17. Got to be either a B or a C rider, can't be an A rider. Mark Finesse checks all those boxes. He'll have a 19 and a 1 going into the third and final moto. Yeah, I really turned it around this moto. Pretty much a flawless moto for him. Been out front all by himself, got that whole shot, and had a very solid ride. I'm sure Dad's going to be pumped back at the camper. So Mark. Closing in on a checker flag and a race win, a gold medal. Unfortunately, he has to talk to Jason Wygant down there. We tried to get Rodney on the podium, but Wygant fought him off. Not hard to do. It's like a wet paper sack. He'll crumble. Couple more turns for Mark Finesse, and he will 
grab this moto win. And Connor, you can take us home. Mark Finnis will grab that win. There's Evan Ferry. He'll finish up in the number two spot. Allen, Aldama, and Collip round out your top five. And that'll do it for the Schoolboy 1, 12 to 17. Connor, thanks for jumping up in here on the mic with us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. It's been an honor. Banging bars with Connor up here. Our apprentice program has been awesome. Run some great folks through here, giving them all a shot at working on one part of the uh, program they might want to be involved with. The, the motorcycle industry is big. It's not just the guys that race the dirt bikes. There's a whole support staff that get the teams there, get the events going, the sound, the scoring, tons of different opportunities if you're into it. I know this guy's going to be into talking to Jason Wygant. The number 51 of Mark Finnis will grab that race win. He's got the gold medal. Jason, take it away, bud. Wow, you wouldn't even th think he just ran a 20-minute moto. He's already cleaned up. He's hydrated. He doesn't even look dirty. That's how you get it done on the 51. Mark Finnis taking the moto win. Oh, yeah. Get this kid a drink. Thank you. Thanks, Dad. Okay, so uh, I know the first moto didn't end up going the way you wanted, but it's still got to feel good to come out here at Moto Wins. I know you've been on the rise over the last couple years. Is it good to stamp one like this and get a really solid performance? Oh, yeah. It's definitely a step up from where I was last year. Broken ankle last year. Didn't even really get to race. Uh, take me through that moto. At one point, Ferry got in a second, but uh, you weren't letting anybody catch you this time. No. That's the first hole shot I've ever gotten at Loretta's. So I took advantage of that, put in really hard laps, and maintained about a little over halfway to go. Who do you want to thank there? My mom, my dad, uh, Nate Ramsey, KTM Orange Brigade, Fly Racing, Scott Goggles, Alpine Star, AOE Suspension, FMF, Dunlop, and uh, all the boys. There we go. Mark Finnis taking the moto win. And I got one more for you. Gold and hold that up. We'll take the pictures. He is also first time ever. He is a Stasic whole shot award winner here at Loretta's. Coming together for the young man of Indiana. What? He's ready to go 40 darn minutes. This guy has got energy to spare. All right, they're pumped. We're going to try to make enough room in the front of the stage. I'm going to bring Evan Ferry on over here. Doing what he needs to do for a title. He's got one, two scores. And let's hear it for Evan Ferry. All right, little red dog. Uh, now you've probably gotten addicted to getting these golds because you got a couple this week. Tell me, tell me how that moto went. Oh uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Got off to a not 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 a super good hole shot, but then you know I uh, made a couple cool passes, and then uh, after that I saw Mark in front of me, and uh, I tried to kind of mount a charge, and then I uh, just started making some big mistakes, and then uh, just played it played it smart from there. Hey, considering how the week started for you with the crash and everything, you got to be pumped the way it's turning out. Yeah, yeah, it's going really good. You know, sitting. Um, tied with him in the first class and then uh, in this one I'm standing in the overall so you know we're super pumped. Who do you want to thank? Lil Red? Uh, the whole Rockstar Energy Husqvarna Factory Racing team, everybody that came out, Parker McCollum, Scuba, Pat, Fly, um, Garnet, FMF, Dunlop, er everybody that helped me get out here, Pro Taper and uh, we're just having a lot of fun out here. Oh yeah, Evan Ferry second place on the 125. There we go. Colin Allen will be your third place finisher. We'll bring the Yamaha man up. Good to see three different brands up on the podium in a 125 two-stroke division. So a good run for Colin Allen. And we'll talk to him about it here in a minute. Just enough room to shimmy on through. Let's hear it for our third place finisher on the Yamaha, the Blue Crew, Colin Allen. I saw you as soon as he came in. You seemed pumped. Your family seemed pumped. That was a good ride. Yeah, it was so amazing. I haven't been on this podium since 2017 on 65. And man, let me tell you, it is one of the best feelings I've ever had. I've, I struggled the first moto of this class, but I came through the second one. I'm happy. Awesome. Who do you want to thank for it? First of all, I got to thank the man above for keeping me safe. My parents, my mom and dad, all my friends, the whole EBR crew, Monster 100%, um, SOB, Matt Todd, Evolution Dog Watch. Uh, Matt Michelia, Jenna, everyone at the whole SLBQ, so amazing. I love that place. Um, 
Dunlop, Altus, Yamaha, Answer, Arai, Pro Taper, uh, Monster, EVS, um, and everyone else, thank you so much. Colin Allen, everybody.